Welcome to another tutorial on 2D game design in Unity. In the previous few tutorials, we looked at how to uh, set up um, different checkpoints and um, set up a fall detector and then allow the player to respawn back to checkpoints when they fall off the, um, fall off the map or fall off a platform and hit the fall detector. Um, but what, we, um, what you might notice is that when we actually fall off the um, platforms or fall off the ground down a gap, um, we very quickly uh, respawn back to the last respawn point. And we don't really get a chance to figure out what went wrong and maybe go and have a look at exactly where we jumped from and if that was the wrong position or where we fell or what we might have missed and how um, we can go back and do that properly the next time or work out a strategy. So what we can do is add a delay so that um, before we respawn, maybe we have a second or two or three seconds to see what we did wrong, work out a strategy before we suddenly respawn back to the last um, checkpoint. So we can add a delay to respawning. But before we do that, the, uh, what we really need to do is set up a level manager. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in my hierarchy, right click in an empty space here and create a new empty object and I'll call it level manager, just one word. And then at the same time, I'm also going to create a new script in my scripts folder, which will also be called level manager. And I will go to the level manager object and I'm going to attach the level manager script to that object. Okay, and then I can go and open up that level manager script and start working on it in here. Now, to start with, there's um, a couple of variables we need to create inside the class. The first variable is going to be a float. We'll just make it a public variable so that we can edit it inside the Unity editor. It will be a float and it's going to be the respawn delay. So basically the amount of time it will take um, to pause or the amount of time the game will basically be paused for before the respawn occurs. So the amount of the, the amount of time we wait before we respawn. So that's the delay. Okay, and then we'll create another variable which this one is going to be called um, it's going to be player controller. So public player controller game player. So we'll call it game player and it's going to be a player controller and we're referring to our actual player controller script. So in the player controller script at the moment, we've got the um, respawning occurring here. So we have, if we have a look up the top here, we have a respawn point position variable, um, which is set when the game begins. So we have an initial respawn point and then we um, uh, detect when we hit checkpoints and update the respawn point and then when we hit the fall collider a fall detector and when we collide with that when we fall we change the position of the player to be the respawn point okay so what we're going to do in the level manager is refer to that script and the object that that script is attached to which is the player so in the start method we'll say game player equals find object of type and then in sharp brackets player controller okay so what we're doing is we're, we'll find an object in the scene that has the player controller script attached to it and that is the player object okay we're going to be working with um, this player controller script in just a moment all right, now what we'll do is we're not going to use the update method. We're going to create a new method and this is going to be called respawn. So we'll say public void respawn, open bracket, close bracket, and then the two curly brackets. And so we're going to add some code in here. It's basically is going to um, hide the player or set the, sorry, set the player to no longer being active. So disabling the player object and then um, we'll update the player's um, position and then we'll um, enable the player again or set the player back to 
active. Okay, so basically what we'll do is we'll say game player dot game object dot set active false and then we'll say game player dot transform dot position equals game player dot respawn point okay so what we're actually doing is we're kind of disabling the player object temporarily and then we're setting its position to the respawn point which is inside the player controller script that we're referring to as game player in this script and so respawn point if we go back to the player controller script is this variable here and that variable is updated um, it's updated at the beginning of the game in the start method when we start so the initial position of the player is, is um, there in the respawn point and then when we hit checkpoints we also update that variable respawn point so we're actually accessing this respawn point variable from the player controller script in the level manager script because we've got this player controller that we've called game player and then we put game player equals find object of type player controller so we're referring to that script and then we're also down here in a new method that we've created called respawn we're referring to the object that that script is attached to which is the actual uh, player object so we're not referring to the script there but the actual object that the script's attached to and then we're referring to the script here um, the object sorry the the script um, and the object it's attached to and we're setting its position to be the respawn point which is um, specified in that script <laughs> okay so we'll see how this works in a moment what we'll just do after this line is set the game object back to uh, active so we'll say set active true okay now at this point what we can do is we can actually um, set a delay here but if we set a delay right here what that will actually do is pretty much delay everything that's going on in the game so we don't want that so we'll look at that in the next tutorial but before we um, look at that we're going to go back to the player controller script and we'll create another variable here we'll say public level manager game so we'll call it game level manager and then inside the start method we'll say game level manager equals find object of type and then sharp brackets level manager and then open and close brackets and end that line with a semicolon and now what we'll do is we'll go back down to the bottom of this script and where we have if other dot tag is equal to fall detector and we have transform dot position equals respawn point instead of setting the respawn point here what we've actually done is we've set the respawn point in the level manager now so the level manager script can be responsible for setting the uh, or updating the respawn point so or sorry um, changing the player's position to the respawn point the level manager is responsible for that now so what we can actually do is just call the level manager um, and call specifically the respawn method inside the level manager script so we can actually replace this line here with the code game level manager dot respawn and then open close bracket and end that line with a semicolon basically what we're doing is we're saying call the respawn method from the game level manager and the game level manager is the uh, level manager script which is here so make sure you save that code okay and now if we go and run the game all right and so we've got our level manager here um, 
we've set a respawn delay variable there, but we haven't actually um, we haven't actually done anything yet with that. That'll be in the next tutorial. But if we play the game, we just run the game, and we hit a checkpoint and fall off. We'll respawn back to that checkpoint exactly the same way the game was working before. So um, to the user, nothing seems different at all. But to us as a programmer, we know that the player controller script no longer actually um, sets the position of the player to the respawn point when they fall off the map. We know now that instead of this script doing that, the level manager script is responsible for that. Okay, so we've just kind of set up another script that's doing um, the actual respawning, setting the player to the actual respawn point when they fall off the map. And so now that we've set up a level manager, we can now go and add what's called a coroutine to delay the respawning. And that's what we'll look at in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.